hey guys welcome back to my channel it's jasmine lee and today i'm just gonna be showing you guys how i prep my skin for makeup i don't have a super extensive skincare routine because i'm still figuring out what my skin responds positively to what i like what's good for my skin and what isn't and honestly you really only learn by trial and error so hopefully i introduce you guys to some new products um some stuff is not going to be new it's just not going to be new it's just things that work and honestly you should value efficiency over the newness and the novelty of things um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe if you catch the vibe and have a great day all right y'all so first up is face wash all of these have been used so they're not gonna look brand new first up is the neutrogena morning burst facial cleanser i love how this smells and i just like this one in the morning another one i use but i typically mm, i wouldn't say i typically go for it at night i just noticed that i use it more at night but i will use this any time of day this is my fresh soy face cleanser i love this brand it's like if i have money to ball out on this brand i would have everything fresh um another thing that i tried and this is per jackie Ina's recommendation is the dermalogica uh, daily super foliant and i really like this stuff um i got the mini because they didn't have the big sizes and you know i just wanted to try it for the first time to see if it was really worth the hype and it is <laughs> so i'm very excited to try more from that brand once things kind of go back to normal y'all already know what's going on so i don't need to get into that but um yeah anyways first let me wash my face i'll be right back okay so now that my face is all nice and wet i'm gonna be using the clean and clear morning burst i almost said neutrogena um <laughs> i'm gonna be using the clean and clear morning burst and I like this one because it does give me a leather and it smells good and then it also has exfoliating beads in it not a scrub but there are beads inside and no you cannot feel them once you use this and this is just back to basics for real it's nothing fancy it's not pricey you'll probably pay eight dollars at the most for this stuff and yeah i just really like it now, for those of you who are familiar with LA Beautyologist, also known as the Golden Prescription on Twitter and YouTube, she is an esthetician, I believe she's in California, and she has a 60 second rule, basically stating it would take 60 seconds for your cleanser to really work and clean your face. So, that is part of why you see me going in the way I am right now just to make sure I give the product a chance to really do its thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse. I think I'm getting soap in my eye, so I'll be right back. All right, now my face is all rinsed. I'm just gonna use a towel. I know everyone says use a paper towel, but listen, this towel is clean. I haven't even used it on my body yet, so there's that. But I'm also not above using this towel on my face, so there's that too. <laughs> so now that my face is nice and dry, I'm gonna take toner. The two toners that I use will vary between Skin Food and the Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. I really like this one to the point where it's pretty much almost gone. There's like maybe one more use out of that. But for the sake of uniformity and consistency today, I'm going to be using the Peach Saki Skin Food Toner. And what I do is take the toner and pour some into my hands. And then I just push it into my skin. Next, what I'm going to be doing is taking this emulsion from skin food as well and for those of you who may not know what emulsion is i'm gonna tell you because i didn't really understand it when i looked at it on the shelf but i got it anyway because it was a part of this system that i got um emulsion is basically i want to say it's a humectant 
or it's just a moisturizer but it absorbs into your skin faster than like a normal moisturizer would because of the way that it's formulated it's very light um it's almost more of like a liquid than a cream so yeah and for me personally it leaves my skin feeling so freaking soft like oh my jesus <sighs> Alright, so now that I've rubbed that in, what I'm going to be doing is a mask. Now these masks are packed with like a serum, if you will. I have these five masks. These are my favorite. The ones from the cream shop are my absolute favorites. Um, then there's this one. This is by Corona. It actually has like the problems that it tackles. So this one says it'll tackle problematic acne skin clarifies clogged skin by deep cleaning pores da, 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 da. and i believe that all of the allow you to leave the mask on because again like i said these are supposed to be serums at the end of the day so you can leave them on your skin this is my least favorite this brand is called body prescriptions bath and beauty I got it from I got all of these from Marshalls and I would recommend highly getting stuff like this from Marshalls because you typically only get like five in a pack and five or ten in a pack and they are when, when you go to try and buy it straight from the vendors themselves they are pretty pricey like for five of these would maybe cost you between ten and fifteen dollars as opposed to like five six eight dollars at Marshalls I can get with that so I normally go find these at Marshalls this one however was a Marshalls one and I wish y'all could feel the freaking packet there's nothing in here and it dried out so I'm not a fan of that I'm actually gonna throw this away right now then when I tried it when I first got it I just wasn't a fan it just mm, you could tell when something's like meh the one I'm gonna choose today is going to be hmm I'm looking at my skin to see what it really needs I would say it's probably gonna be between these two and again obviously I said the cream shop was my favorite um they like are so packed with moisture so I'm actually feeling like I'm gonna use this one and it's infused with rose water it's rich with antioxidants promotes healthy glowing skin cooling and soothing and reduces inflammation so sometimes you might be red or you might feel that your skin is irritated that's what this one covers I love these ones because they actually also don't have the paper on them so you don't have to peel any paper off it's purely just the mask and all this gooey serum product on it so I'm just gonna unfold it and I believe the package says leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or until it dries I normally just leave it on my face and I'll sit around and clean the house or watch TV or you know just do something idle until the mask dries so we're gonna put that on my face I'm gonna just leave this on until it dries and I'll be right back. 20 minutes later. Alright guys, so it's been a little bit over 15 minutes. Um, it also said you can wait till it dries. So as y'all can see, um, the serum is still on my skin. So what I'm gonna do is just rub that in more especially on my forehead they always put a lot um near like the forehead and like just the edges of your face and your eyes rub all that goodness in and my skin definitely looks a lot more alive and healthy and then what i do is take this peach sake pore serum and i put this on my skin too this is also from the brand called Skin Food. I found them at Ulta and I've never seen anybody talk about this brand so I don't even know if they're good or not. But so far I like them so that's all that matters. Y'all, my skin feels so freaking soft. Alright, 
now that the serum has been put on my face, what I'm going to be doing next is moisturizer. Now this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Moisture Cream. I found this at Giant, I think, so I don't really take like that much. It really doesn't take a lot. It's actually kind of like, this is actually like a lash choice, but it's a brand that I still am like fond of but I prefer fresh. Um, I'm just out of the moisturizer I normally use. I normally use their vitamin C moisturizer from Fresh Beauty, but this works too. It's just a little more like greasy sometimes than I would like, but it works. Definitely a good moisturizer still. Um, what I do, what I like to do, is take my fresh vitamin nectar glow water, spritz that on my face. It smells so good and it's like a mist. And then I take jojoba oil, so it's in the Drunk Elephant bottle, but it's actually jojoba oil. It's this brand of jojoba oil. And I put it in this bottle because this bottle has a dropper. So it makes it a lot easier to apply. It's definitely not Drunk Elephant anymore. I enjoyed the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, but I just didn't feel like you should ever have to pay $65 for something like that. I mean, oil is pretty generic, and I could be wrong. Outside of like Argan Oil, that's a little harder to come by. Yeah, I just didn't see the point. So this is the final step of putting moisture in my skin and jojoba oil acts as a sealant. It also is safe to use on your face because it's non-comedogenic, hopefully I said that right. Um, it doesn't clog your pores and the cool thing about jojoba oil is that it actually mimics our natural sebum in our face. And so. If you have like oily skin or combination skin like me, it can actually kind of keep your oil production in check because your skin thinks that it already has enough. So that is a quick little tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be nice to share what I do, show you that you don't have to do a whole lot to your skin. Our body in general has a lot of checks and balances on its own. Our problems normally come in when we try to control that. These are all fun and well, but a lot of people, like younger kids that I see doing all this stuff to their skin, soap and water definitely get it done. Once you get like in your mid to late 20s, your body just changes. Hormonally, all these things go crazy in your body and it just freaks you out. So that's where I am right now. I'm in my mid 20s and yeah, it's just figuring out you know what to do next so i hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine and my skin feels so good so i'm probably gonna be touching it for like the like 10 minutes but um yeah i hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed my video if you can't survive please subscribe continue to have a great day or night wherever you are and thank you as usual for watching 